All right, guys, I gotta change the oil tank today. I got my uh, pipe machine oiler dies, a couple of buckets with covers. Put the old mucky oil in. I got 10 barrels to pump the oil into my ramps, saws all. Uh, tank's coming today. I gotta go there and demo it. Seven o'clock. Getting started early, mama. Left the dog home today. He's gonna be there all day doing this oil burner, this oil tank thing, so. We'll leave the dog home today. I got everything. I got water in case I need it. And see, I got uh, the 10 barrels. I'm a 33 gallon barrel, I think. Or 44s. I got enough to, even if the tank's full of oil, to pump the oil in there. I'm gonna shut this fucker off. Flip that off. Drive me crazy. Alright, so we got to. You can see it's been leaking there. It's coming out. It's going right outside, right there. I got all my barrels here. I'll pump all the oil into the barrels. I'm gonna shut the burner off. I gotta put an overhead line in after. This one going in the ground's compromised. He's gonna want it, so we'll, uh, I was gonna reuse it, but it's kinked over here where it comes out. I'll put a new line in. He wants to go overhead, so we could do it. Couldn't run right in here with it. Right in here. Right over to it. It's kind of rainy today. I don't know why I did it today, but uh, oh well. It's coming out. I got the hose going in there. And I got my pump. Took this adapter out. I put this little homemade rig in there. Go from 3 8 to holes. Into the pump and into the barrel. So I'm gonna go through the filter and see if it works. If I can't go through the filter, I can go directly. Plug it in and see what happens. change that filter. It's a little dirty. You like it? Well, I keep myself busy, but I mean... I'll we'll try changing that I filter. Do, I do miss my, uh, my minute work. You do? Yeah. I mean, eventually you got to retire, right? You can't work yeah, forever. Yeah, I work, I work, I retire with both. Oh, 60, 60, 70, 68. Oh, okay. Yeah, you worked up to... Uh, yeah, I worked, I worked to I say no more. You had enough. Yeah. Hopefully that shuts off. I just want to change the filter because it seems a little black coming out of there. And I don't want... It don't look too bad, but while I'm here... Hey, hey. Do here. I want to do it right. Like right. I told you, I don't like cutting corners. Because then, you know, I don't like cutting corners. Oh, this thing's really dirty. It was due. It was due for how long has it been since you've had it cleaned? It's been a while. Get that right, yeah. Huh? Last year. Well, yeah. The guy didn't, I don't think he cleaned up the bucket think, here. I don't think he did myself. No. No, that's why I get that. That's why you wanted a new guy. That's right. All this time, it's a son of a bitch. Huh? I, I said to myself, the guy doing that, blah, 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 blah. You know, I see things like this and things that did happen. There's a lot of muck in there. I mean, 
with transferring all the oil, I want to keep it as clean as possible, obviously. That's right, right. You know, there's a lot of mud in there. He's a leaker. She's leaking. Huh? She's leaking, but we're gonna we're putting on new one anyway, so it don't matter. Oh, the shutter? Yeah, we're putting on we're putting a new one in that new shut off yeah, and no. all that shit in anyway, so it don't matter. Well, this way here, I'm just trying to keep the oil clean, as, as clean as I can, obviously, you know, and uh, we'll try it again. It should be cleaner now when we're going through a new filter. So I got the, the new ones in there. tank out of the way. I got the new tank in with the legs. Passed by 3890 Malibu 90, a 38 nipple and a ball valve. But now you know put a firematic after and I'm filling it. I'm putting the oil into the new tank. Now I gotta do is pipe this off. This is gonna be the the fill is going to go up and on the bottom, and the vent's going to come off the top, swing joint and out, and then the swing joint out top. This goes down and out that way. Um, so when, it, when they fill it, the arm goes that way. It's not hitting the, you don't want this arm to hit the fill. So I don't know if you can see that. I was gonna come off and use this tap, and but the problem is it's like right in line, and you want to pitch them up. You want to put a swing joint on them and pitch them. So I'm gonna come off of here, two elbows and out. Come off of here, two elbows and out for the vent. And that'll be the fill. Will be lower. But I gotta cut this up in four pieces yet. Let me get all these the, the, this oil pumped back into the tank, and I get these barrels out here, and I can put this tank here to cut it. I gotta cut it in four pieces. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna set my pipe machine up somewhere to thread the pipe. Well, it's coming along. Um, my insurance only covers, covers me and my state. That's what I asked you about, yeah. Yeah, because like Rhode Island, I mean, I could go to Rhode Island, I got the licenses to work there. But I can't because of my insurance. Yeah, yeah. They want me to start a whole other policy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Hey. Loose, loose. Yeah, loose on you. Keep loose. 
That's funny. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it, right? She says, loose as a goose. Lady looks at me. Thread us so past the end there and do it by hand, put this in reverse and Look at shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. When I first got, when I got out of school, 59, machine shop, worked on a Moscow's drill. Yeah. Made those, made those tap guys. <sighs> made those babies. Nice. That's a nice thread there. See it? Yeah. You gotta go. It's all on the dies. Yeah. All right. So, um, these fittings are taking out about one inch. So I need one that's 11 and a half center to center. Minus two, that's nine and a half. Center to end to end. Right? As you say, sounds good. Mark one. I'll cut that and I'll thread that one and then I'll then I'll spin it around and thread this other part. I was always told never take the pipe out of the machine unless unless you thread it. That's right. Never take it out. Back in the day, when I first started as an apprentice, I did a lot of this stuff in the shop. Yeah. We're going to put this back to forward. Then I got the foot pedal thing, the step on or release. That's a homemade rig that I made. Oh, yeah? yeah. This is much better than the rigid one. I got a rigid 300 yeah, one, yeah, yeah. but this is easier to move. It's lighter. Okay. Yeah, rigid kind of... Paul, I'm still in reverse. I want to go forward. But this is easier and it's faster. You notice it? You should never take it out without threading it. You're going to need it uh, eventually another job. Or I need it on this job, to be honest with you. You know they used to call that doing it by hand? On a pipe, you know, they used to use a tripod and yeah. used to do it by hand yeah. without a pipe machine. Yeah. They call that effing the dog. That's what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's a lot of work by yeah. hand. Oh, yeah. With a machine, it works out good. Yeah. See it? I usually go one pass, one pass the end. And then that should be. Should be it, huh? Looks good, huh? It sure does. I'm worth more money. <laughs> Alright, so that one there is 15 and 3 quarters center to end. Center to end. 
So I hang over one inch, right? That's right. one center, and then the end. I can do it that way, right? Fifteen and three quarters. Another cut. That one I might not, because I got a thread on the other end. I might not thread this one. We'll see. I'm going against what I said though. Man. Going against my theory. It's a good theory though. Never take it out without threading it. Yeah. You're gonna use it eventually. Yeah. Most can. likely. Back to forward. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Yeah. You? I do. I mean, what are you going to do? The guy gave him a little how you doing. You don't want to go back after you screwed it up. I mean, what are you going to do? Hire someone else. You can't hang up on a guy, though. Oh, shit. Okay. There's challenge. usually two sides to every story, though. Know. You know? It's true. What's fine for you got here might have been the story, you know? And then the contractor says, well, it wasn't fine for you got there. So I don't know. Should be able to do the fill. I gotta do them on the two. Drain the oil out. Thread the other end of this one. I like this machine. I really do. I got four of them. Like that? I got four of these, yeah, because uh, they don't make them anymore. So if I could find them, yeah. I've been buying them over the years because they don't, they no longer make them. Right, yeah. Past about a thread. I was told a couple of threads when I went to when I was an apprentice, but I like to go about one. Right, just one more thread. What do you, what were you taught? Yeah, but one thread? One thread, thread and a half, or whatever. Thread, thread and a half, yeah. yeah. It's all press shit. They don't thread anything anymore. They don't even solder anymore. Everything's press. Everything's press now. They put it in and put the press machine to yeah, it. Yeah, it's like. Uh, I mean, how sick is that? That's flipping really whacked. No, it's like uh, it goes in the chuck. The die comes on it and punches it. 
put the, the hex on it. Right everything's, there. everything's everything's pressed now. Yeah. Press this, press that. It's all a press machine. It's all this fabricated. Crazy. It's all fabricated. I call it. It's all kind of scary. Made in China. Yeah, it is. Made, made in China. Even the machines are made in China. That's Trump one. Say made in China. <laughs> What's going on with him? They're really trying to get him bad, huh? Who, uh, Trump. I, well, he's a bummer anyhow. Excuse my language on the guy, but I mean, I lost, I lost respect for the guy, to be honest with you. That's tight. I lost respect for that man, Steve. I'm sorry to say, but... Man, yeah, look at that. Right, perfect. Right to the edge. Right to the edge. Okay. So that's right where I need it. There you go. Is that one thread? Hallelujah. One thread? Huh? One thread for you on? You want? That's right where it, that's right where it needs to be. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. There you go. I'll make it look easy. By hand, once it's going, once it's going easy, then I could uh, do my thing. Reverse the machine and back it off. You don't want to rip the thread. You want a nice thread. So it won't, it won't leak on it. Huh? It won't leak. Perfect. Yeah. 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 under the bus too many times. You must still love him. You must still love him. What? You must still love him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. She wasn't, she wasn't half bad. It's all my fault. You know how that works. Yep. Yeah. She never wanted me to go in business for myself. Oh, that's that's what it was. Well, that was part of it. Oh yeah. No, it wasn't the whole thing, but yeah. I was making money in the union. Right? You know, and going on your own is taking a chance, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, it is definitely you. taking a chance. You're always taking a chance in business on your own. Always, always that way. It's always a risk. One of the first things I did. Went on my own. Started my own business. Good, bad, or indifferent, I don't know. I enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, just it's a uh, first in the present. No one wants to do it. I enjoy it. You gotta do something with your life. Yeah. Life's not all about money, you know. No, it's. it's Oh, enjoying the journey. Enjoying it, doing it. That's the whole, that's the whole thing. Yeah, that's another show. It's right. Like a job you got now, you either you, you like your job and you work with the people. You can't do that. Get out. That's the whole thing. That's, that's what life's about. Yeah. Enjoying the journey. Yeah. Because before you know it, <laughs> journey's going to be over. Plane's going to arrive, and you're going to have to get off. Right. Get off you have to get off the plane. You arrive to your destination. I don't know. I'll try to do the 
the best I can, I guess. Enjoy every moment, because you never know how long you got. Ain't that the truth? Get through that, that's right. They're dying like flies in the refrigerator. Young people too. Uh huh. Young people. <laughs> They're dying like flies in the refrigerator. That's bad. <laughs> You got a dog? No, <clears throat> no, I used to. Husky. Oh, I had a big dog then. It's a smoker. <laughs> I got a little tiny midget dog. I see him. She's the cutest little thing ever. My dog. You didn't bring him today, though, did you? No, I didn't, cause uh. You've been here all, all day. Yeah, I'm gonna be here all day. I'm not gonna have her waiting around for me. I only take her if I'm running service. I mean, she's better off staying home today. If, oh, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be. That's a swing joint. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll uh, mock it outside. And we'll make a cut and a thread. And the next one's going to be the vent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The vent's going to have to be a little higher. Alright, so we'll do the vent next. Alright. So Steve, you, did you go to the boat or you just... Did I go? No, I went to the union school. Oh, you know, is that right? Yeah. yeah. They had, um, I was in the union. They had their own school. Oh. Yeah, we got a good, we got a good inch or so. We can go up with it, so. We'll measure where this one is and we'll go over. We'll be one inch up. Uh, between the two. And that should do it, one inch between the two pipes. Alright. <clears throat> See how close my measurements were. When it comes to this stuff, I like to put dope on the inside and outside of these fittings. I don't know, just give, give it a little bit more lube. Helps things go in better. I've always done that uh, on the oil tank because Sometimes, you know, it'll leak if you don't, you know, you want to get a good, sometimes you need a little lube, you know. Sometimes you need a little bit of lube. Inch and a quarter fill and vent, that's legal in my state, as long as it's the same size. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think Connecticut, you gotta be two inch, but not, not here. Not in Mass. Like before, the other one was inch and a quarter. Yeah. And uh, two inch. Inch and a quarter of an inch and a half. You can't have that. It's gotta be the same size. Same size. Same size. Hmm. this reason to their logic. If it, this is one of those um, rods,
froth tank, so it's got to be inch and a half, inch and a half. Something to do with the put pressure on a, on a tank or something like that with a small, smaller line. To, they recommend inch and a half oh, I see. on the Roth tanks. We don't have a Roth tank here. It's a swing joint. See how it goes. So yeah, if anything does yeah, move, see, yeah. it can it can move. It's a swing. You know a swinger, are you? No. the outside, right? Yeah. The outside is going to be a 45. I'm going to put a swing joint on that too because it's a 45. And a street 90. Alright, so you got a half by 3890 on the bottom with a short nipple. Yeah. Ball valve. Firematic, yeah. new F4 filter, and I put a check valve. And I went up with the oil line. We ran it all the way down, and it along the edge there, and I clipped it up top out of the way. Came in over here, down alongside this, and into here. I'm just gonna bleed this now. Bleed this and uh. Get him his hot water back. Took this this line going out of the ground out. But well, we got the we got the pro, the black and then the white. Check valve there, so we'll be good. Nice flow. We got that check valve there, so once it's pulled, it's going to stay. You know. Mm -hmm. stuff back together and she'll fire up. It doesn't constantly 
this is the one right here. Yeah. Yeah. You want the water temperature cooked close pretty good, Steve. Huh? The temperature of the hot water stays pretty good. It doesn't go rapidly like, like heat up. This is more like, like the furnace. Well, it's all back up and running, and we got that working. Yeah. That's, what, that's my main main goal, right? I didn't do anything else but change the oil line. Well, it turns on there pretty good. That's it. Did slow it down, huh? Huh? It did slow it down. Yeah, slow it down, yeah. We gotta cut it in half and two pieces there with a speedy dry. Picked up all the muck. A couple of barrels of muck. I just gotta cut this in half and get it out of here. It's all done. All done. No leaks. So everything looks good to me. 